Mike, it's uh, Wildfire Prevention Week. Some tips for our listeners so we don't have, you know, we're hearing a lot about wildfires this time of the year. Yes, sir. And, and we, we, on the newscast with Lynn, it seems like every other day we have a wildfire getting out of control here in Central Florida. How can we prevent that? Okay, well, there's a lot of things we can do. And let me first by start out by saying uh, what this week is is Wildfire Awareness Week. And what that is is recognition of the 98 wildfire season. That, that, 90, that Florida had in 98. Um, we had over 4,900 wildfires uh, consuming over a half a million acres and destroyed 337 homes. Wow. Yes, sir. And we don't need another year like that. And it kind of seems extreme talking about this right now after we just got roughly two, two and a half inches of rain last week. But the fact is it's springtime. The trees are growing. The grass is growing. We're having low humidity, and it's just sucking up every bit of moisture that we get. And as you well know, we uh, the last week of March, you know, we had a we had another killer frost right here, and so that leaves us dead fuels on top of dead fuels. Really dries things out, kills it off, and it's just fuel, as you say. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, and up to Wednesday of last week, the state had been averaging 10 to 30 wildfires a day, and our district, which includes Polk, Pinellas, and Hillsborough, had been averaging two to five a day. Um, since January 1st, the Florida Forest Service has responded to more than a thousand wildfires already consuming 20,000 acres plus. So, you know, what what I'm trying, what we want to do is, is, is get out there and let everybody know what, what they can do to prevent it. Our drought index, and the drought index is what determines the amount of moisture in the ground. It ranges from 0 to 800. And where are we at? We're, at, we're right around 480 right now. Um, you know, uh, last year about this time we were at about a 640, and then we received 10 to 12 inches of rain, and we went from a 640 to a zero overnight. So that could happen at any time, especially here in Florida. You know, 90% of all wildfires are human caused, and that's where the listeners out there come in. So what I'm doing is I'm asking for everyone to help do their part in fire prevention and take that extra second to be cautious of, of what they're doing, especially in the more rural areas of the counties. You know, everybody that's out there listening, that they, you know, if they live out there in a t- Towards the rural areas, the woods, whatnot. A lot of 97 country listeners out there right now, and they want, they're looking for these tips so we can all be safe. Yes, sir. And, you know, this includes anything from barbecuing to mowing your yard. Now, I'm not trying to, to tell you not to mow your yard. It's springtime. Everybody's getting everything cleaned up, you know, from the from the winter or whatnot. But, that uh, kind of surprises me. Mowing the yard can start a fire. Well, yes, sir. Matter of fact, a week and a half ago, we had a fire. A gentleman was mowing his yard, real tall bahia grass, and his lawnmower set off a spark and caught on fire, and it burnt the siding off of his house, burnt a trailer up. Uh, and that and fire probably moved pretty quick, too. It was moving real quick. We had, you know, real gusty winds. The county fire department did an excellent job in saving his house, and the Florida Forest Service did an excellent job in stopping the fire from burning the house just north of there down. And also, you know, a lot of people pull trailers and whatnot, and uh, on trailers are supposed to have safety chains, you know, the ones that do. <laughs> and, you know, just simple tip, just making sure your chains are hooked up. I had a fire last year. I come out, a guy was burning some trash, and anyway, I was coming out from taking care of that fire, and I pulled out, and here come a man pulling a load of logs, dragging the safety chains, and he was slinging sparks. And I thought, well, I might as well just follow him and start putting them out as they go. But Just so taking a couple extra seconds, a couple extra minutes to make sure that you follow these safety tips, and that would prevent a lot of fires here in Florida. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, pay attention to the county burn bans. Uh, if you have a campfire going, you know, don't leave it unattended. And make sure it's 100%, 100% out when you leave. So if you see a wildfire or, or arson taking place or you have any questions about the burning regulations or restrictions, you know, call your local Florida Forest Service, and they'll do anything they can to assist you. You know, and I appreciate you having me on the air. And, do you have and, a website or something? Yes, sir. They have a, the Florida Forest Service has a Facebook, Twitter, and I'm, I'm not sure exactly the address of the website. It's, sure. Uh, MyFlorida.com, I believe. I'll tell you what we'll do is we'll post that on our Facebook. And yes, if anybody sir. has questions, they can go there as a reference. Yes, sir. And uh, Mike Vicente, thank you for coming in today. And, and, and I want to ask you a question. What does Smokey Bear say? Only you can prevent forest fires. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. And we don't need any more fires in Florida. Not any more than we can handle. That's, that's thank for you sure. for all that you do, you and your, uh, your, your team. And uh, we appreciate you stopping by this morning because we know you're busy. Thank you, sir. Be careful. All right. Great job, Mike. Thanks for stopping in. It's 9.53 with the 97 Country Breakfast Club. Jenny Taylor checks in after 10. And starting your day really does make our day. Let's keep it that way.